Hi everyone and welcome along to this week's quick fix. So today we are going to catch up with the birthstones of October and November. Now there seem to be more than one and uh, what we're, we're ending up doing is we're getting quite a lot of repetition in various techniques as I'm going through these various birthstones. So I thought I would pick pink tourmaline for October to start off with and then I will reveal my November one when I come to paint it. But for a starter, I'm just sort of painting some oval shapes for you here. And um, there's no real trick, just to press lightly with the pencil and go slowly. And then I'm going to choose this one for my pink tourmaline. I'm going to just draw in a few almost like ripples, I suppose, out to the edge. Okay, okay. There we are. So we'll start with this one and I think a combination of opera rose and permanent rose. Now I actually own a ring with pink tourmaline in and the pink tourmaline I've got also has a slightly like blush feel to it so I love combining yellow ochre with uh, permanent rose to make a nice blush colour so we've got that too and what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin with a sort of fairly light wash and I'm going to sort of loosely work in terms of the ripples and I'm going to sort of build up my colour more strongly towards the bottom and top. And then I'm going to get some of that blush colour in to the sides. Blush colour into the sides. And that's quite nice. We've got a nice sort of a uh, little bit of unpainted space for some of the shimmer and shine and we've got some nice variation of the colour. Now I need to darken down my pink. So a good tip is if you take the complementary colour, which is the colour across the colour wheel from it, and add some, you will get a, a much more muted version. So if I take some green, look at that. That goes right down into the perfect kind of murky pink tone that I want to capture the edges there. So I'm just using the ripples here to paint in the dark little stages. It's still a little wet, that's good. And now whilst it's still wet I'm going to just take some regular pink tourmaline and I'm going to sort of capture some of the sort of facets of it. So you you get little, um, I think that's going to be a bit too purpley, we'll try a little bit of it. That's quite nice actually. So yeah whilst it's still wet I just want to sort of paint in little almost like rectangular sections and then once we get to the middle We'll just be really, really light and loose with it. And this darker colour, we can use it for just some smaller accents here. And then I just want to smooth that outside. And that's looking pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with that. I might just, uh, colours always sort of soften 
and lighten as they dry. And I think with with painting these gemstones in particular, it always feels really sort of obvious when that happens. So I'm just trying to sort of deepen the colours a little bit without losing too much. But that is our tourmaline for October. The birthstone for November, um, well there are two, topaz and citrine. And I think citrine would be a really good one to learn. So here we go. So I'm just drawing in an oval and what I'm going to do from that is I'm going to just do some cross marks. This is my very sort of rudimentary way of sort of achieving some kind of cuts, I suppose, in the in these stones. Is is looking for the curves. There we go. It's one. There's the curve. And just cross it over, and that's a really good starting point. So citrine is a a golden uh, a golden stone. Lots of yellow and ambers and ochres in there. And some dark tones as well, so we need, I think Moon Glow will be really good for this. So I'm going to begin, I might start actually with, I'm going to sort of mix up, I've got some, some yellow, cadmium yellow, a bit of buff titanium, and a little bit of yellow ochre, and it's making this kind of it's a golden tone and I'm just going to pick out certain facets that I'm going to paint in. Then the richer yellow ochre can come in. And then I just like to smooth them down a little bit. Mix some burnt sienna into my golden mix and just capture some of it in the edges. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and then we'll come in for a bit more detail. Okay, time for some fun. We're going to just drop in some dark tones. So you can see it's still a little wet. It can be hard to know how to approach doing these, but I would say find a picture on the internet, or you might be lucky enough to have the real thing, gosh, that'd be cool, um, and just play around with it, have some fun, and just see what, see what you see. I think that's probably the best way of, of describing these things, because they are, they are hard to capture, but they're fun to try. So I'm just continuing to build up layers.
And it doesn't just have to be the dark layers as well. There could be strong golden tones as well. yeah there we go a bit of fun with the birthstones for october and november thanks so much for watching i'll see you again next time